Hi everybody, welcome to part two of measuring your gear with Roo. Uh, today we're going to get into doing actual measurements. We're going to measure the frequency response of this EQ here to my left. Um, so we're all set up. Um, I've got this plugged into the same input and output as I had um, shown you in the previous episode. So I'm the first thing I'm going to do is calibrate our level. So you don't need to do this, um, but it makes the graphs nicer because uh, Roo is really set up originally to record sweeps in a room, um, which means that it's measuring actual SPL. In our case, we're measuring, you know, just a round trip into a unit with unity gain. So what I'm going to do is kind of trick the program into thinking that whatever I put into it is zero SPL. Um, so I've opened up the generator. Um, and the SPL meter. So on the generator, I'm going to select tones, sine, frequency, 1K. It's just a standard level setting frequency. For my output level, I'm going to do minus 12 dB full scale, just like I did in the last episode. And then I push play. Okay. And now wherever we end up here, just give it a second to settle. I'm going to go to calibrate zero finished and you'd say okay all right then we're all good now our sweep now when we see our sweep the baseline for the frequency response is going to be zero db instead of minus 12 or whatever it was going to be so go over here to measure leave it on spl and i'm just going to name this eqp5 bypass um, so i'm going to see as you can see here i've got the unit in bypass now, the rest of this stuff you can leave as it was, start frequency 20 hertz and frequency 20 kilohertz. Uh, the only thing that you really need to pay attention to is the level, which should be the same as what we just sent out with the signal generator. So just make sure uh, it's minus 12 dB if that's what you did for the generator. And I push start, and it's going to take a second to run the sweep. Uh, as you can see here, it's looking pretty flat, which is good. Okay, and then we've got our sweep. So I'm on the All SPL tab, um, and now you can see the fruits of our setting up the SPL meter, which is that all this is sitting at zero, which is just what we want, just a relative value of zero uh, or unity gain. And yeah, so that looks like a unit in bypass to me. Um, let's do one not in bypass. So I've got the low frequency boost turned up about halfway here. I'm going to go ahead and engage the unit. And let's go to measure again. And all I'm going to change this time is the name. Just changing it to EQP5 low frequency plus, whatever you want. And let's see what that does. So we should see, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We should see a big boost in the low end there, tapering off very slowly because this is a very broad EQ. And oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so there's a measurement. I mean, come on, this is awesome. Did you know you could do this in free software? Um, so you can see in green here, I've got the bypass in um, blue. I've got my my low frequency boost. So go ahead, play around with your gear, check how flat it is, check the curves of your EQs, stuff like that. Um, you're all ready to go. It's as simple as that. In the next episode, we will explore measuring distortion. Hmm.